everyone. It's Chris from Smithy Fitness. Welcome back. Good to see you. So I got my 40 kilo bell today. That's the first time I've had this one out. I've had it in the house for about seven months and uh, finally graduated. So I got the 40 and the 36. So I'm going to carry 76 kilos. I weigh about 78 right now, which is pretty heavy for me. So it's almost body weight. Let's see if I can get to the end of the field. So when I'm lying in bed at night, and you know, and the house is quiet, there's this thought that always creeps into my mind. And it's basically, how did I do today? Did I do enough? Can I do better? And then one thought that really kind of haunts me is, am I playing too small? You know, we're talking about all areas of life, whether it's money, adventure, fun, love, you know, are, you, are your goals big enough? Are my goals big enough? Am I playing big enough? Or am I playing too small? And it's the great thing about YouTube and Twitter is you get to see basically regular people who are doing better than you, doing more than you. Even though they're about the same age, somehow they've figured out a process, a plan, a method where they can get more done every day and stay on on track so can we do better can we set you know a little bit bigger goals we don't have to be a maniac all right but can we add you know a few percent be a little bit more ambitious plan for a little bit of a better life of a more exciting more fulfilling life and uh, and just have way more fun. All right, so look, it's uh, it's all about the basics. You'll see me. I'm doing pull-ups, I'm doing dips, push-ups, curls, carries. You know, it's pretty much every workout I do that. And we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We just need to, you know, stay on it. Maybe add a rep here, uh, here and there. Today I'm going to do some, uh, they're not clapping push-ups, but they're push-ups where I'm getting off the ground. So I'll do 20. And it's just, it's a really nice intermediate from going right to the clapping push-ups just push yourself off keep moving do whatever you can a little explosive all right that was 20 and that's it <laughs> So one of these extraordinary people who do who don't play small, they play big, is a guy named Robert Bugby. Now he's the president of a company called Scorpio Tankers. Scorpio Tankers takes uh, basically oil back and forth over the oceans. The tanker business, the container business is extremely volatile and the stocks go up and down like crazy. But anyway, Bugby has been buying calls in his company. So buying calls is basically a leveraged way of owning shares and far riskier. Now in all my years, 37 years, I've never seen a president buy calls of his company as opposed to buying the shares. He already owns a lot of shares, but so not only does he buy the calls, but he spends millions, millions. He bought 10,000 calls, uh, at a price of 295, which equals 2.95 million on a bet that ends in uh, January 2022. So, if I see an opportunity, I might buy 5,000 shares, maybe 10,000, maybe more if I really like it. And I'm in the top 5% of risk takers for sure. Done well. But Bugby, he spent $5 million in August on calls. So that one trade, plus a few others, 
five million on a risky trade. That guy's not playing small. Makes me look at myself and kind of going, well, okay, if I have a high level of conviction, should I be going heavier? Should I be buying more? But this doesn't just apply to the stock market. Again, this is everything, you know? If it lines up, we should do more like these extraordinary people we're seeing. So buy more calls, buy better clothes, go on better adventures. You know, let's, let's uh, make it happen. One-hander. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. <laughs> wow, that was cool. The 40 and the 36. Hopefully this time next year, I'm with the 44 and 48. We gotta think big, right? So look, thanks for watching. Remember to go for it in life, have fun, and I will see you in the next one.